you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post UTME examination or you are already in your first year in a university how will you solve this question it is extremely very easy now let's solve it together the question says in electrolysis the chemical reaction which takes place in the anode is so they are asking us what type of chemical reaction takes place in the anode first of all we have to understand the concept of electrolysis because they said in electrolysis so the question we ask ourselves what is electrolysis now this must be noted it must be noted here that electrolysis is simply the passage of direct current this must be noted electrolysis is simply the passage of what direct current that is dc not alternate current which is ac electrolysis has to do with what the passage of direct current and it must be noted here also that electrolysis as a process occurs in a special vessel called the electrolytic cell this must be noted electrolysis occurs in a special vessel called what the electrolytic cell i did not say electrolysis occurs in the electrochemical cell that is different from an electrolytic cell so moving further before we can answer this question we have to understand the concept of an electrolytic cell this must be noted now listen carefully i'm about drawing the diagram of an electrolytic cell this is how an electrolytic cell looks like okay this is how an electrolytic cell looks like this here is the direct current source okay it is called dc direct current source okay and we are having something they call terminals which i'm going to explain as we progress in the course of this video lesson and these terminals are inside a container okay and the direction to which the current flows because this is the direct current source this is the place this cell gets its current you can see it flows in opposite to the source you can see the flow of the the current it flows in opposite to what the source the electron the current is flowing towards this called terminals this must be noted now these terminals i'm talking about they are also called electrodes now before we talk about that the substance found inside this container they are regarded to be called electrolytes okay they are called electrolytes so moving further i said that the current enters the cell through the terminals which are also called electrodes and electrodes are of two groups take note electrodes in an electrolytic cell they have how many groups two they are we have the first anode you can see where anode came about in the question and the other called cathode this must be noted now it must be noted here that in an, in an electrolytic cell the anode has its own charge the anode is always positive whereby the cathode in an electrolytic cell still is negative are you getting me now so this must be noted so moving further we understanding little concept of the electrolytic cell we then have to note this there are processes that occurs in these two electrodes which are anodes and cathode i can as well call them chemical reaction which they are asking us in this particular question now we have to note this acronym i'm about writing and it is called cryo c here means cathode whereby a here means anode which we've talked about but arrow here means reduction this must be noted arrow here means what reduction whereby o here means oxidation so in summary it must be noted here that c and arrow goes together 
A and O goes together. So it must be noted here that cathode as an electrode always undergoes reduction. Reduction is a chemical reaction, okay? Whereby anode always undergoes what? Oxidation. So let's get back to the question. In electrolysis, the chemical reaction which takes place in the anode is what? You can see we've gotten the answer. The answer to this question is oxidation. Are you getting me now? This must be noted. It is very, very important and it is actually very easy. So we've come to the end of this particular video lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons with your friends. Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.